And tonight you're debuting the music, the CD, for all of the fans and for all of us. Well, it's very exciting. I was saying today it's 10 years in the making. Uh, six years we were canceled, but so 10 years total. Um, it's exciting. I'm also nervous. This is the second time I've been the band leader. I've probably been thousands of times supporting people as a bass player or whatever I was playing. But it's fun to do it live and actually come out here and do it. And the fact that the record's out, I mean, we've got 42 or 43 cuts on it. And I still hear from people, why didn't you have hot cups on there? How, how did you come up with the music that was going to be on there? Because I know you had a lot to choose from. There's still a lot more. And I think in this case, and it could have been one of score, this was really about all the original songs that we wrote. Because I think it doesn't happen very often in TV shows. I mean, a lot of this comes from Mitch, who'll say things like, oh, it'd be great if we had a song called Balls in the Air here. And Fans want to know if Getaway is on the CD. Getaway is, is, it? is yeah, yeah, that's our... I think if we be the fan favorite. has a single, it's getaway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we owe it all to Mark Cherry. Yeah. How has the fan reaction meant to you? I mean, this has been pretty overwhelming. To everyone's been waiting for this, and then everyone's been wanting it to come back, and then the whole Netflix thing. And oh, it, it's pretty great, and um, you know, there's just a great young demographic. Well, people, all different kinds of people, but I'm always surprised at how much people know song titles and can sing stuff to me and have ringtones and. Stuff that, unfortunately, I've forgotten as I've written more and more music. They'll come up to me and, what about this song and this? And they start singing it. And so that's, you know, it's flattering. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm looking forward to a big fan of the show. Well, so I thank you very much. I have the great pleasure of introducing my, my very, very good friend and, and longtime associate, David Schwartz, who is responsible for all the music on the rest of the Come, there are, there are, you know, soundtrack albums for everything in the world except this show that has music in every second of the thing. 30 minutes of music a show. And, and David finally uh, succeeded. In
not explain your dad is the composer of Arrest Development. He's the one that came up with the songs. Your dad said to everybody that you have been singing for Arrested Development since you were 14. Yes. Talk to about that. How did that get started? Well, I think it was really great for me because I'm, I became a musician to grow up around so much music and sort of grow up in the studio. And um, my dad would just call me up when they were working on something. And I remember one time I was in my pajamas. I had just finished my homework and he was like, do you want to come sing this like silly British thing? And it ended up being the Mr. F voice. And so that's me in high school, probably in my pajamas. And so now that you've been able to, you know, really create your career off of this, what have you been able to do since then? Um, well, you know, I write a lot for films and TV. I had a song in Twilight. I had a song in Shrek. I just wrote a song that's going to be in Nashville. So I think growing up around someone who writes for film and TV, it was sort of in my blood. And um, I really love making music. Yeah. And besides that, you're also a tap dancer, too, we got to see tonight. Well, I tricked you. I'm, I'm not very much of a tap dancer. You're pretty good. You're better than I am. Thank you. I did a lot of theater growing up, and I did a little bit of tap classes like in middle school and I just showed you all my moves that I know. So thank you so much. Congratulations on all your success. You're awesome tonight. So I was like you make me feel so under accomplished. <laughs> you're like playing the piano the next thing you know you're like out there tap dancing then back singing. I was like holy shit this girl my god. So thank you so much. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Tonight you really look like the proud papa. You know while I saw your face watching everybody on stage doing you know the music from there how part of a moment is this you know have the show back have the music out there well I mean what I'm particularly proud about is uh, is my friend David Schwartz whose soundtrack album we're here celebrating that that really I mean he's just a wonderful wonderful human being and a wonderful father and um, and uh, he's not my father <laughs> he's a wonderful husband and he, um, there's something and, we need and, to know. And, and, um, and, and he's been a friend for a long time, and he's a brilliant composer. And his work is so above and beyond what is necessary for a television comedy. And so it's it's thrilling for me to see him have a moment in the spotlight where people can actually hear the music. Yeah. It all tells its own story without being in the script. Yeah. It really does tell its own story. Yeah, I think so. You know. I think so. And, and many times, you know, he's the last the last stop in, in the creativity of the show. We can make it as funny as we can in the script. We can make it as funny as we can on the stage with the actors in editing. And ultimately, I have to give it over to David and say, help, help fix this. Now, you know, the show went away for a while. And then the fans went crazy wanting it back and wanting a movie. And now, you know, it came back on Netflix. How did that feel for you? Well, it, it, it never felt like one moment. I, I kind of, now I can look back at it and see it as something that was kind of a magical amazing valuable thing yeah as I was doing it it just felt like work it just felt like will this ever happen what do I have to do to make this happen once we get the parties agreed is there a story I can tell with the fragmented cast once we're in production can I make these stories make sense in the time we have left are we going to be able to get Ben Stiller to so it was, it was a con it, there was one moment we had the whole cast together in the living room and I was and I was struck by the fact that this is rare in life and you don't get it it's not a given that things come back to life that I will look back at this as being the past and think you know wow I hope I realized <laughs> Good thing Ms. Hollywood was there because I would not have appreciated it while that, it happened. Damn right, I'm really glad that you noticed that. Yeah. Because your when career would go, not have been successful without me. When we go to the Ms. Hollywood retrospective <laughs> at the Emmys, which they and and I will come out there in my walker with white hair, I'll think, Ms. Hollywood and I were so young. <laughs> Those good times that we, we had didn't together. Know. We didn't know. And so the question is, will you guys be back for another season? I, I, we'll be back for some. I don't have any new information about it. Because I think there might be riots in the street if you... Oh, have. that would be... It's so flattering that people even cared at all. And, and it's a great joy and we all love it. We all love it. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you.